Part two, today. By the time you hear this, I'll be gone. I'll also be dead. In fact, I'll have been dead for 1300 years, give or take. She clicked the pause button on her recording device and glanced around her office. It was dim and cramped, filled to overflowing with books on the shelves, books in tall, unstable piles on the desk and chairs. She stood motionless for a long time, silhouetted against the last sunlight through the window. Then, quite suddenly, smacked the pause button again. I've always thought it odd that people say your history to mean you're forgotten or you're no longer important. But I'm a historian. For me, history is what hasn't been forgotten. It's precisely what's survived from the past, whatever hasn't slipped through the cracks and been lost. And for me, these things only become important when they have survived, when they're out of their own time. A theatre programme from the 1920s. The diary of a Victorian maid. The notes made by a medieval monk to help him remember how to sing morning mass. Click. She pressed pause again. Dr. Finkel was a slim, white-haired woman in her mid-fifties. She had always affected an old-fashioned dress sense of slacks, pullovers, and sensible shoes, as though to project an unruffled professionalism. Now, though, she was agitated, glancing about, twitchy. On one wall was a battered poster. Her eyes slid over the first line. History is the stories told by historians. There are as many histories as there are stories. Click. It's the ephemera of the past, which by chance wasn't ephemeral. I find it, study it, catalog it, write about it. And try to learn something from it that makes the modern world comprehensible, maybe even makes it better. That last part never seems to work. So, so now I'm going to become history myself. I've decided there's nothing more for me here. Everything I care about is in other times and other countries. Okay, not quite everything. My daughter, my students, my books, my morning coffee. But it's not enough, not anymore. Lisa's all grown up. Last year's intake were more interested in Masonic conspiracy theories than putting in the library hours debunking them. The books don't say anything new anymore, and, and the coffee's not that good. Click. She noticed that the fingers of her left hand were drumming rapidly against her thigh. She made an effort to stop it, then carefully crouched down into her tattered swivel chair. The next line on the poster. History is the truth about the past. There are as many histories as there are truths. Click. There's no evidence Jesus existed. The man, I mean. No contemporary accounts, just a rehash of Torah stories with some Egyptian legends and bad parables thrown in. Ah, but what if there was someone? Some itinerant charismatic preacher who got a load of old myths rewritten around him. Someone who got completely lost in all the early church politics. Wouldn't it be great to go back and find him? Bring back a photo, maybe an audio of him preaching. There's got to be an article in that, maybe even a whole book. I could go on chat shows and get death threats. Well, I've got at least three colleagues who paid to go back for an hour and look. They found nothing, not enough time, not enough clues. We still don't know. But that's not my field. I do Arab history. And that's why... Click. The sun had completely disappeared, leaving the office in almost complete darkness. There were no sounds from outside the door. There might be no one else in the building at this time. History is what we choose to put in museums. There are as many histories as choices. Click. Dr. Phillips says I'm not publishing enough. Can you believe the cheek of the man? I babysat him through five years of PhD research, gave him deadline extensions, and now he's telling everyone I'm over the hill. Sarah sent me an email of her latest. Tome, I swear there's nothing in there that wasn't in her last two. Can't that woman do any new research? 
She wants me to write her a blurb. What am I supposed to say? If you enjoyed her last effort, you'll like this one, because it's exactly the same. And they're talking about cutting the department budget again. Why do I bother? I mean, really, why? Click. Click. History is a job. There are as many histories as professional historians. Click. It's the same with Mohammed. No record of him till a hundred years after he died, and we've only got second-hand copies of that. Maybe another century till anyone collated what the voices in his head said. Then two centuries of people making up hadiths to win petty legal disputes. But we can't be sure. We can never be 100% certain until someone spends a couple of years back in the 600s and proves it one way or the other. Click. She had pushed the button much harder than necessary. The final visible line read, History is the past we invent to... But the rest was obscured by a stack of old books. Much more gently. Click. So that's what I'm going to do. I signed an agreement with the Tomor this morning. They get everything I would have got from today onward. Wages, pension, possessions, whatever. And I get to live the rest of my life around the Red Sea. I'm on a Hajj, a pilgrimage. I'm emigrating. When I've found what I'm looking for, I'll write it down and leave as many copies as I can. Hopefully, inshallah, one of them will survive to the present day. This is Dr. Gabriella Finkel resigning so she can do her job. Click.